One is a genius, the other's insane. The laboratory mice, whose genes have been spliced. Oh, no. <laughs> they're pinky, they're pinky, and they're brain, 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 brain. No! Hi, brain. What are we going to do tonight? The same thing we always do, pinky. Trying to take over the world. Pinky was the actual genius. Yes. He was the actual genius. Hey, the song gives it away. Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius. The other is insane. The other is insane. Of course, everybody assumes it's Brain because he's called Brain. But Pinky's plans worked. Uh-huh. I said, oh, Brain, you're so cute. You're trying to take over the world. Nope. But I don't like pigeons. So I didn't want to get up this morning, um, just because I didn't want to get up this morning. I was cuddled with the kitties, and um, I started waking up at like 7.30 and then checking the clock every hour on the hour because I had to work today. Of course, I didn't want to get up. Um, so it took me a little longer to get ready than I should have. And uh, then there's... I have like... All my neighbors next to me are awesome, but like four or five houses down and across the alley, um, I don't know if there's just a bunch of teenagers that live there, what the dealio is, but um, the people that live in that house or the people that visit that house have this habit of like hanging out in the alley with their car. So like just parked in the middle of the alley talking to their friends or parked in the middle of the alley waiting I guess for someone to come out of the house I don't know the dealio but they do this a lot and it's super annoying um because like I need to get through to get out to to go places like I have to drive past them to go places and they're they're blocking my entrance and exit and it's super annoying. it's just rude behavior is what it is and it's super annoying and um i haven't said anything to them about it but i'm always like you know parked behind them while they're playing on their phone waiting for someone to come out of the house or something and i'm like excuse me can you just if they just moved over to the side of the alley i could drive past them but they just like pull up in the middle of the alley and i can't get around them and it's super annoying. And I, and I only can think is, is that it's kids and they just don't know any better. Don't have any fucking manners. I don't know. So basically what I'm saying is, is I'm late to work. It's about 10 after. So I have the opinion that if I'm late to work, I may as well be really late to work because I'm going to get in trouble one way or another. So um, I sat here and I ate my breakfast. I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'm going to go ahead and go in because what's the point of rushing at this point um, when I'm already late? Um, but we do have the big Anastasia launch today. Um, so it should be an interesting day. It's pretty exciting. Um, yeah. So that's a little, my little kvetch about my, my neighbors down the street. Now, for those of you that don't know, I live in a rough area. Um, Rocky and I wanted a big house. Um lots of space which means rough neighborhood so um my neighborhood is very very interesting there's always something interesting going on um i have let's see there's probably like eight tires just in laying in my alley um from people that like got flat tires this last year and um instead of disposing them properly just left them laying there you know it's it's um it's very different, um, you know, and, and there are some aspects that are nice. Uh, like uh, we if we had lived in our old neighborhood, we probably would be constantly getting ticketed uh, because we're really bad at getting our grass cut on a regular basis. We let it get pretty tall before we cut it versus where we're at now. Like. That's not even a big deal, like it's ain't no thing, you know, like, you know, so. 
there are some benefits like stuff like that's a lot more relaxed and i appreciate that um because cutting your grass is a pain in the butt like i hate grass um i was watching um a video someone else was um talking about how they had like a courtyard um or like a yeah like a courtyard that had grass in it and they were going to rip out all of the grass and put in um astroturf and i was like that's exactly what i would do like no maintenance like if you don't have pets that use the lawn there's no point in having grass there like yeah it gets rid of the bugs it gets rid of insects it gets rid of you know the then you don't have the maintenance of the grass and like grass is i'm an earth friendly person but grass is not earth friendly grass is high maintenance it requires a lot of chemicals it's not natural and um yeah so that's one of those weird if i was rich i would have an astroturf lawn kind of thing if i had to have a lawn okay um i'm gonna finish my coffee and head into work so that i'm not like egregiously late i'm just like 10 minutes late or something like that already so um a few more minutes isn't gonna make that much of a difference okay talk to you guys later bye hey kittens it's sugar so, um, things, I guess the first thing I should talk about is I'm using my, um, selfie stick for the first time I picked it up from the dollar store when I was at the dollar store the other day. It was one of like the bajillion things I got that day. Um, so I'm using that for the first time, um, so yay for like wider angle and more comfortable filming and all of that. Um, I'm laying on my couch. I'm having a really rough day. Um, yesterday was uh, just one of those days where like all the little things that could go wrong did. Um, like I was late to work and then work was rough and... Um, I think the stress of everything, just everything that happened this last week, just got to me um, with uh, my friend's funeral on Sunday and then our house getting broken into and just, um, you know, this last week has been, you know, everything that just, it's gotten to me and um, I called off work again today. Uh, I, uh, not in a good headspace. Um, I'm not depressed, more like just really, really bad anxiety. Um, not really wanting to interact with anybody or socialize with anybody. Um, I just really need to hibernate for a little while, but like social media doesn't feel like I'm hibernating because like. I'm able to, um, I'm able to talk with, to a machine, um, and, uh, I don't have to deal with anybody's response, like immediate response. I don't have to deal with, uh, someone immediately having an opinion about what's going on or, um, Say hello to Kit Kat. Um, I don't have anyone having an immediate opinion about the way that I feel. Now, obviously, excuse me. <laughs> um, obviously, when I post this video, people will, but then then it'll be a delayed reaction it won't be immediate and by then I won't be as emotionally sensitive if that makes sense um so I do I do have anxiety pretty bad I have social anxiety pretty bad um and uh right now I just uh I'm having one of those I just really need to introvert and kind of hide away from everyone and everything and just kind of lay on the couch and marathon some Netflix 
for YouTube or um, and just not interact or socialize with people. And that's that's the thing, like um, when people see me, you know, they see me in my like extroverted swing phase where I'm talking to everybody and seeing everybody and socializing. Um, but I have the exact opposite reverse swing phase of being very, very introverted and, um, not really having the energy to deal with other people's emotions or baggage or opinions or feelings. And, um, like, I just want to be left alone. And it's not that I don't love everybody and I don't love the people that are reaching out to me and I don't want to help them and I don't want to do things with them. It's so much as in I just have nothing left and I need to recoup that energy. And this week just took a lot, a lot out of me. I'm still emotionally dealing with everything um I still really haven't dealt with my friend's death um like I just kind of feel shocked and, and numb about it and like it's been six months but uh you know they put off her memorial service um because it was such a hard situation for them that they had to put off dealing with it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm sorry if this is a real downer to everybody. Like I just, I want to show people the reality of, of life and that, you know, um, not everything is shiny and perfect. And, um, you know, I had a really, really rough day at my day job yesterday. Um, and I really like what I do, but it's getting, It's getting to the point where the, the environment there is very, very stressful. Um, there's been a changeover in management and the new management, I guess, feels the need to prove themselves. And because of that, most of the senior staff is leaving and they've had almost complete staff turnover. Um, so... And sorry, I just, so I'm filming this on my phone and like messenger just popped up and I have people sending me chat messages saying, Hey, I need to talk to you. Hey, I need your attention. And like, I just want to be left alone. Like, I, I try to be there for as many people as I possibly can and I, like literally as we speak I have someone messaging me like it's an emergency can you call me right now can you help me I need you and it's like I don't I don't have the energy to help someone right now like I I just need to take care of myself and I feel horrible that that someone needs me and I can't be there for them. I feel obligated to do so. Um, because what if, what if, if I don't reach out to that person and they kill themselves? The way that my friend did. I don't know if I'm going to post this. 
What if I don't reach out to them and they kill themselves the way that my friend did? And I know that that's not a guilt I should be putting on myself, but the fear is there. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Um, don't, don't worry about me, guys. Like, I, I, I don't want you to worry about me. I just, I'm, I'm showing you this because, um. You know, this is my reality, and Rocky is here, and um, I need I need to take the time to grieve and heal, and and not put on the brave face for everybody all the time. Um, it's not natural. Um, this giving myself this space, this time, this is natural, and. Uh, and it's what I need. I love you all. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey kittens, it's Sugar. Uh, today is Monday and it is 7 p.m. And uh, I've been working, um, editing video, See? Editing video for you guys. Um, and just kind of chilling and relaxing uh, for most of today. I've got actually a bunch of stuff I need to do. I've got a face mask on, which is why I've got my bangs back. And I'm in one of Rocky's oversized t-shirts. So um, this is kind of like how I chill when I don't care how I look or if um, people see the way that I look or what have you. Like if I'm not leaving the house, essentially, um, well, my skin's been feeling really gross lately. So I have a face mask on. You can't really see it cause it's mostly like all sunk into my skin and I just need to wipe it off. Um, I'm doing a lot better today than I was yesterday, which is the previous clip that you just saw. Uh, I'm mostly just going to finish editing video and um, clean the house. Um, I've got some private burlesque lessons coming up this week that are going to be in my home. And so um, I want to get the house straightened up so that like they're comfortable being here. Um, you know, things that you do when you do. Um, there's not really a whole lot going on today. Rocky's already left for work. Um, I go back to my day job tomorrow. So I'm just catching up on social media stuff, editing video, uh, making posts to Patreon. Um, again, if you want to subscribe to my Patreon or mine and Rocky's Patreon, um, you can subscribe for just a dollar a month. It helps a whole lot. I've got a bunch of goodies and stuff. Okay. I'm just going to pull this down because I can't stand seeing my son look like that. Um, there we go. Now I'm not looking quite so crazy. Um, it's just a dollar a month. Uh, it helps us out on a whole, whole lot. So I really, really appreciate it. Um, I try to put uh, regular posts up there on a regular basis. And I'm also making, basically making these videos um, for, for everybody, but mostly for the people that support us on Patreon uh, so that you can see where, um, where your, where your support is going and what we're doing with it. So, um, yeah, basically, um, and you get a taste of the performer life on the day-to-day -day basis, um, behind the scenes, the stuff that's not maybe quite so glamorous. Um, and I'm, and actually this, now that I have, I have a new smartphone and I finally have an SD card, SD card for this phone. And since I carry my phone with me everywhere, it's not as hard to film as I thought it was going to be. 
or as it was previously, because previously it was very difficult to film because um, like one little five minute video would fill up all the memory on my cell phone, on my old cell phone and on this cell phone. And uh, that was all that I could do. And so um, now that I can basically film on my phone and I take my phone with me ever, it's not as big of a deal. Anyways, I'm just rambling. So if you made it all the way through the through this video, which I forgot to do this in the last video, but if you made it through all the way this video, then comment Frankie or Frankenstein. Um, and I will know that you made it all the way through. And that actually, that means so much to me. Um, so thank you, both of you, all of you that have done that, that have messaged me and said, hey, I made it through the video. Like that means so much to me because these these things are actually a lot of work to do. Um, I spend several hours editing videos. They take several hours to render and upload. And I don't mind doing it. I enjoy it. But knowing that I'm not just doing this for the blank void of nothingness means a whole lot. So knowing that people are watching these and enjoying these means a whole lot to me. So this week has been a really, really rough week. Today is the one week anniversary of our house getting broken in. And so for those of you just watching this video, um, so I promise that in the future, you're not going to be seeing me like in my jammies, not doing anything all the time. Like I do a lot more than this. I've just, this has been a really bad rough week, as you know from the previous clip. But I wanted to come on and talk to you guys and and know that I'm doing a lot better today. Um, I'm just I'm taking some downtime for myself, which I really need to do. I don't do enough of that. Sorry, the lighting was like flashing and then it was creating a weird thing, um, which I really need to do. And so um, I just really appreciate that. But I wanted to share my journey with you um, and be as real as possible. So um, thank you very much for watching this. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye.